Hey guys, it's Chris, and welcome to the Toned and Toneful video podcast, episode 16. When things are hard, don't give up. Have you guys ever felt like sometimes in your life while you're working on a lot of different things that you're starting to experience multiple hardships? I kind of started noticing I was experiencing something like that this week myself, and it got me thinking about talking to you guys about hardship and about how I view it personally and maybe offering you guys some insight about kind of how I deal with really hard situations and uh, come back to feeling happy and come back to feeling emotionally stable and coming back to feeling physically stable. As we know, once we get into a situation where things are really hard and stressful in life, it is very, very easy to become distracted, to become dissuaded on the work that you're doing. You might not feel as, you know, it connected to your work that you're working on, or you might not feel as invigorated and impassionate to like go ahead and really start taking care of what you need to do when you need to, because you're starting to feel the lows from some hardships that you're feeling. And this last week, I had a couple of things that came up that got me thinking about what it is to work through hardship and what it is to work through situations that can mentally build us so that when we come back, we're actually stronger and we're actually more ready for life's challenges. So um, first off, it's like, we've all had this feeling in life where it's like almost tearing you down, you know, where we've had maybe some family problems overlapping with work problems, or we might have some frustration in working with our instrument or writing at the time and accomplishing our goals. So it puts you in a funny place because On one hand, we're always working to be the most positive we can be. I mean, if we're dealing with these hardships, we take them and we work with them. And at the same time, we have to understand that not everything goes right all the time. But on this other hand, you have the fact that it's natural for us as humans to feel disappointed, to feel that this isn't going right for me. Like I'm working on these things and I'm incurring all these speed bumps and little problems that I did not plan on. And it is ruining my my view of what I'm trying to do and it's making it askew. It's, it's taking it off track. And I think that a lot of people, when they get overwhelmed with a couple of bad things, it's really easy to put yourself in a position to not be able to think clearly and not see your situation in yourself in the way that you need to see it So that way you can feel peaceful and you can feel ready to still take on the things that you need to do because you should not be giving up. That is the number one piece of advice. Do not give up. One of the best things that you can remember during this time is that the thing that you chose as a mission in your life, whether it's finishing a song, whether it's getting all this stuff online, whether it's Um, meeting up with uh, other musicians to try to really lock down a session and get something recorded and have something that's going to sound great that you can provide for the world. When little things go wrong with any one of these things, it can be really tough. And to top it off, if you're having maybe a health problem or you're dealing with something that's symptomatic in your life that comes and goes, it could be a little bit harder. Give you guys an example from my life because I wanted to show you guys a little bit why I was kind of thinking this this week. So... During this last week, I've been living a pretty good high. I got to hang out with my my Mobius friends last week, and I've been playing a lot of guitar. I've been playing a lot of guitar and trying to trying to get better with things on my instrument, get better with my approach to how I'm writing songs in the DAW, like how much I'm actually putting effort into kind of getting the ideas sorted out and getting them done, so I can I can I can get this stuff I can get this music out for you guys because I really really want to show you guys what I've been working on, and then to top it off, you know my work has been getting a little bit crazy, so it was been all good, and then the first thing that started happening is my work started getting a little crazy. I have a day job, and my day job I'm a I'm a I'm a manager at a at a at a facility that sells uh, legal cannabis, so. For me, I'm usually really, really busy during the week with my job because my job's a busy place. And while I'm working on all that kind of stuff, it's really easy to get caught up into the, not the mundane, but the everyday like cycle of work. So much so to the point that when I get off work sometimes, I really want to play guitar, but I'm like almost at this mental state where 
my creativity or what I feel that I have inside me has been drained out. So it's real easy for me to, you know, prep a healthy dinner and maybe, you know, do a a small workout, get a bike ride in. And then it's just like, you're getting to your guitar and you're having a hard time focusing. But the thing started leveling up on me. One of the nights I fell asleep and I guess I'm more of like a, I don't know if some of you guys have a problem with clenching your jaw or grinding your teeth when you sleep when you're stressed. So as I was work, as I was working a lot more and starting to kind of run into this stressful situation, I wasn't playing guitar, maybe for a couple of days too. But this is a really sensitive thing for me because my body now and my mind is so used to playing guitar every day, especially since I started up Toned and Toneful, because Toned and Toneful has been not only a message for you know me to you know try to give you guys things that I've learned or things that I, I think or stuff like that, but it's also a healing place for me. It's for me to talk about what's going on with me and with you guys and how I'm working through those things because life is so tough sometimes it feels really good to actually have someone there, even if it's just mentally to back you up. Even if that's a video of yourself or you're talking to other people who are commenting back, it really helps me kind of work out my mindset on how I want to fix things. So anyway, I've been grinding my teeth. So first, you know, I'm playing guitar every day. I'm having a fun time. Then it migrates into... Now I'm starting to run into some trouble at work because I'm really busy. I'm coming home. I'm tired. I'm coming home a little bit beat up. And then the next level is I start not playing guitar. And when I'm not playing guitar, it's making me more and more stressed. And then I'm starting to grind my teeth. And under my tooth, I'm starting to develop a little bit of a problem from this grinding. So I'm starting to develop a pain in my tooth slash jaw. Now, as I'm moving through this experience, I'm thinking to myself, like, what's going on? Like, I thought I was kind of on an up. I thought I was moving towards things that were better. And it kind of made me a little bit frustrated. I'm not going to lie. It made me a little, little bit like, yo, like, isn't this stuff supposed to be going a little bit better than this? Excuse me. That was really good. Some decaf coffee. Still keeping with the decaf. The caffeine gets, gets me too wired. And so it was hard for me to kind of see that this can happen to anyone and that life is a balance. I was so caught up in this mindset that I thought I deserved to feel better because I saw my friends and because I want to play music and because I want to do this now. That is not necessarily how life has things planned out for me. That doesn't mean stop playing music. That doesn't mean, you know, get really upset. What it means is that I need to accept the circumstance. So the first thing we can do is not give up. Don't stop playing guitar, Chris, just because you're frustrated. Play a little bit every day still, no matter what. Two, accept the circumstance. When we accept circumstances, it becomes much more easy to start addressing what they could be. Once I started realizing, wow, I'm grinding my teeth, I started realizing, wow, I got to be stressed. I'm waking up with my jaw hurting. I'm waking up with my teeth feeling like my gums are swollen under them because I'm pushing down so hard when I'm asleep. And I'm waking up not feeling as rested as I was before, even though I'm following my diet and I'm following my workouts and my normal things. But we have to remember that stress and that our mindset can throw off our balance. So one of the things we want to do is address and accept the situation going on. So if I know that my jaw is hurting, instead of being really upset about it and like coming up with solutions that might not be the best, the first thing I actually did was call my dentist. I called my dentist and I set an appointment, even though I was there just a few weeks ago, my teeth are, they're fine. There's nothing wrong with them. But obviously through this stress, I need to address the situation of probably getting a night guard for my mouth. Is that a fun thing to have to pay for? Is that a fun thing to have to work on? Absolutely not. That is not something I want to be thinking about. But at the same time, if I ignore that and let this tooth pain build up more and more and more and something does go wrong, say I crack a tooth, say something happens, I'm going to be in a much worse situation. So we got to find a way to create balance again rather than kind of sweeping things under the rug. So when we can honestly address a situation, we can really, really, really do something about it. My work has been really, really busy. And I've been going back and forth a lot and I've been doing a lot of different work. 
And it got me thinking that same thing. If I'm coming home and grinding my teeth, what can I do at work to make things easier? So instead of bringing a bunch of food that's like complicated meals to work, even though I want all these different nutrients and I have something that I'm working on with my diet that's, that's really intense and I'm definitely down to tell you guys about it in another episode. Instead of doing that, I brought my diet down to a really basic level. I brought it down to something that I could eat one or two times a day and then I'm still maintaining calories, I'm still maintaining my health, I'm still maintaining my, my gut biome and everything and becoming a little bit healthier and a little more relaxed during this situation. Because that is the most important thing we can do is recreate balance. So don't give up, address what's going wrong and recreate balance. Once you start finding solutions that recreate balance, you'll start noticing that your life can fall back in line a little more with where you want it. So the moment that I addressed the tooth thing, I called the dentist, I actually felt about four times better because I knew I had an appointment. I knew I had at least a chance to go in and get this looked at and we can start kind of working on what the idea of what it is. Is this something that I'm gonna need an card for? Or is there something else I should be doing as a solution that I can get from my dentist who I trust? And that same thing goes to myself at my work. When I was making that diet, I trusted myself to make something simpler. I just relaxed and I let myself have things be easier. Because sometimes that's just what we need. We need things to go smoother so that we can address the problem and work on our mindset and work on our happiness. And as I calmed down and the week went on, you know, I had to cancel a session with Ben this last week, which was horrible. Like me and him were planning on playing together and I ended up having to cancel because it was just so many things going on. So to, to really solidify it, do not let the things in your life that are bringing you up and down, whether it's family problems, whether it's a relationship problem, whether you're really struggling with getting music done the way that you envisioned it, Right now, me getting it done is not going exactly the way I planned, but at the same time, every time I pick up my guitar again, I come up with an idea for a song or I come up with an idea that's in a song that's solidifying it more. And this is just rehashing to me that I'm right where I belong. And that's the last thing that you kind of need to come into acceptance of. After you start making solutions, after you start balancing life, you are where you belong. I thought I was gonna release, release some of these singles that I have in mind a year ago, last September. I envisioned it as this fall release and all this stuff. And then fall came last year and there was a lot of stuff going on in my personal life at that time that needed to change. And then this year came around and then I fell off my bike and really injured my hand and it brought me to Tone and Toneful, and it brought me to you guys on another level. And for me, I'll never trade back that experience just to say that things went to plan. Going to plan is very, very important if you got things locked in and all the variables are right, then the plan should happen. Like, like do not deny that. I'm not saying don't live up to your plans. But if something changes, I don't want you guys to be disappointed. I don't want you guys to live your life in a fear that the things that you want to have happen won't happen because they will. Funny enough, at the beginning of this year, I had been searching for a new guitar and I had been looking for another one that I had wanted to get. And so, you know, again, as things are not going as they're planned, I'm running into all these situations. I ran into a situation where it was a good one. After all this time of not being able to play, you know, these last couple of weeks as much as like, you know, I played a lot and then I came into those couple of days where I didn't and then I started grinding my teeth and then I got caught up a little bit in that, that, that drama, that, that natural stress of like, oh my God, is there something wrong with my teeth? Oh man, I'm not playing guitar. Like, am I going to like be as good as I was yesterday? Like my hand feels a slight bit sore today. Does that mean like I'm not going to, and I got way too into it. And I think the universe wanted to me, back me up a step and it, it offered me something really good because while I was making solutions and I was doing everything that I could, I kept forgetting that I'm right where I belong. That the world, if you're working on where you want to be and you're putting it forward and you're really kind of on the spot where you can say, hey, I'm still doing what I'm supposed to be doing even though things are tough, just know that you're always on a forward trajectory. You're always moving somewhere to a little bit better of a place. 
And so much so that I was even blessed with this very, very, very wonderful instrument because I was looking for a new guitar and I was blessed to come into this Mobius with a Claro top, pine back, flamed maple fretboard, lumen lays, Oil City liquidator single coil pickups. And if you take a look at something like this, you almost can't really believe that I went from, yo, last week I was in a situation where I was dealing with my teeth and I was kind of really worried to that. Now this week I'm making this episode for you guys talking about some of the things I went through to feel better and ended up with one of the guitars that I wanted, ended up with something that really inspires me and this instrument sounds really great and I look forward to you guys hearing it on a lot more of my posts and a lot more things that I've been working on. Um, it's, it's tough, you know, I'm coming up with, you know, I'm trying to play the way that I wanna play in the post for you guys. I want things to look a certain way for you guys. And it's not about perfection. At this point, it's about matching the art that I wanna create for you guys. And sometimes that can be a struggle. But what I wanted you guys to understand was that no matter how much of a struggle that I'm going through, or no matter how much of a struggle that we all go through, but I was personally going through this last week, life still put me right where I belonged. One of the missions that I was trying to accomplish still came back. And there's so many more things that can be accomplished and there's so many more things that can be done that I know inside myself, if I just get my brain in the right place for a little bit and relax, I'll get them done. And I don't need to live a life where I'm looking back and going like, am I going to get this done? Like, oh my God, my tooth and like all this stuff. You got to address these problems. You got to address the injuries that you feel. If your shoulder's hurting from playing music, you need to address how you're sitting. If you're mentally not feeling stable, maybe you need to talk to a counselor. Maybe you need to talk to a friend who can really hear you out. If you're feeling like your music's not working and you're having a real hard time focusing, maybe do limited focusing sessions until you can focus bigger. And I've had to do this, like where I'm working on the DAW and then I'll do it for like 15 minutes and it feels like hours because I'm so not used to recording directly like that all the time. And as I get working on it again, after 30 minutes, well, you know, actually I felt like those 10 tries didn't feel so crazy. And you start realizing that you're building up stamina and you're building up strength for your mission again. Because our life requires this. There's never a moment in our life that our mission is just gonna like be right here and then we're gonna walk right up to that like place, like, you know, right there. It, there's always a chance that this is like an ever moving thing and you're kind of just, you're kind of just dealing with like, there's a rock over here, okay, I'm going around that and then there's this other obstacle. And that is actually our duty is to, to see those obstacles and just address them and deal with them. That doesn't mean you need to be like hardcore, every single little thing that goes wrong, come up with 5,000 solutions and just like knock them all out. But what it does mean is addressing these things one at a time and feeling as peaceful as you can and feeling as, as, as good as you can and feeling as positive and forward as you can. And again, it puts you in a place where things that are good can happen. So something like this is very much in the mindset of someone who is working towards being happier and very much someone who's working towards being a better guitar player, someone who no, does need another guitar for a different tuning. And I had a certain sound in mind and this guitar very much actually has that sound. So the universe really does answer our questions, but we do really need to be careful about how we're approaching this. If we get in that bad negative mindset and we think things start don't start working out, I go to bed, I start grinding my teeth more, we're gonna find that we're gonna have worse and worse symptoms. We're gonna find that we have worse and worse problems. We don't want that. We wanna take those symptoms and we wanna take those problems, we wanna address them, minimize them with balance and get back on point. Remember that everything's not gonna move forward at light speed, but everything's not gonna move backwards either. We just need to be keeping things in balance so that once we get our forward movement again, we can create a trajectory and we can create a pace that really works for us, that's healthy. You know, anyone can grow their, grow their 
Instagram or their page overnight or grow something overnight and get really, really, really popular, so to speak, or really have like a big following. But that doesn't mean that we know how to mentally always handle that or that doesn't mean that we always know what to do with those situations. Remember that with more things that we're working on in life and with more situations that we want to achieve, you're also going to incur more responsibility, incur more like natural situations that sometimes are problematic and sometimes are blessings. So we need to be constantly living that life of balance and seeing where they are and being very peaceful with ourselves and understanding and humble with ourselves and realize that just as much as things are going good for me, I'm going to experience something that's interesting or unique or weird and I need to address it. So that is what I want to talk to you guys about on this week's uh, Toned and Toneful. Um, it was such a invigorating experience for me, an uplifting experience to actually be taken down a little bit and to actually work my way through balance and find myself back at realizing why I don't want to give up and why I do want to do the things that I do every week and why I want to do the things that I wish to do for you guys on a bigger scale, like the music that I want to make on a bigger scale, why it's still so important to me and why it means so much to my being. Even if right now at the moment I can't say like, oh, the song's coming out like December 13th. That's not my main mission right now. My main mission is just to make sure that you guys feel good about what you're doing in life too. And that's why I make Toned and Tone Fools about us feeling good in life together. And then on top of that, growing our music and me being able to share with you guys. So I want to thank you guys for hanging out with this week of uh, the Toned and Toneful for, with me. Episode number 16, when things are hard, don't give up. Hope you guys have a great week. And as always, stay Toned and Toneful.